HT Access. Let's give this a shot. First off, what I'm going to do is make a simple website because always before you go to putting filters and and rights and other stuff on something, you need to make sure that it's actually going to work without all that stuff, without the complication. So just make it real simple to begin with. CD var www.html. Now that's just our plain Jane regular directory, right? Right, right. Okay, so I'm going to say vim index.html. I'm going to create a real simple web page. HTML h1. This is my really simple web page. And I'm also going to put a link in there. href equals protected um, Stephen.html. This is just the same as the video. And see Matthew, mine actually underlined too. There. Now the whole deal with this, look at how I'm referencing this. There's no slash. There's no slash var slash www. Um, okay, I'll put some quotes around it. If quotes will make you happy, I will quote. Oh, I left one out, so I would have to. That's the problem. So anyway, I do have the quote now, but there's still no var www html. It's just in the current directory, I'm going to descend into a directory called protected. So I hadn't created it yet, but that's where it's going to be. HTML code looks good enough. Okay, so I'm going to have to do make directory protected. So now in my var www.html, I have my index.html and I have my protected directory. Right? Okay. CD protected. Now I'm in var www.html protected. And if I do a more of what I just created, it tells me that there's a file called steven.html. That's what I'm hiding. That's my price list. That's my important information. So vim um, steven.html. And again, some more HTML code. This is my protected stuff. There. Right, quit. So now my website should work. Let's give it a shot. Now, if config, I am 255.100. Now, this is CentOS. The other one I did was RHEL5. The difference being IP tables, I now have a have IP tables on. So I'm going to flush those guys nice and clean. Service IP tables save. So now that'll come back up straight again. SE Linux doesn't bother us, but get in force. Set in force to zero for now. Okay, service httpd start because it wasn't running. How do we make it start on startup? chk config httpd on. And I can do a dash dash list and grep for http and it actually shows me httpd is on on run levels 2345 and that's cool. So we should be running except for the fact that I forgot what my IP address was. Oh yeah, I monkeyed with this earlier in the day, so I'm 255-100. Little odd, but okay. www.192.168.255.100, and let me take out a, yeah, 192.168, I type quicker than what I'm thinking. 192.168.255.100. I've forgotten something. Anybody want to throw out any guesses on what it might be? Yep, I did a service HTTPD start. I'm thinking I can do a service HTTPD status running away. 
So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap over to another window, and this is what I've kind of got in my labs now. So you can say right click and open a terminal. Leave your text small and make your window just as big as you can. I'm going to zoom out, make it even smaller. Tail var w no log httpd air log dash f. And with my real small text, I can get a bunch on there. You know what I think it is? I think it's VMware lying about whether or not I had a good IP address. And to prove that, I'm going to say ping 192.168.254.1. Sure enough, VMware lied to me. So what do I do to fix it? My IP address is 255.100, but the default gateway for the network is 254.1. So what do I do to fix this? Service network restart. There we go. Still not working. Sometimes you have to do several service network restarts. And again, this is just because it's VMware. Do what now? Yeah, they're all errors. Now I'm getting actually a time. So I've actually got a good IP address now. There we go. So there's this. Now if I click on protected, it goes to the site. So the mechanics of my site work now. Okay, now that that's going, I'm going to start in with the Leo Laporte stuff. And there's there's two different ways to do it in that lab. There's the way that you create files, and then there's the way that you put it all in httpd.conf. But let's say cd etsy httpd conf. I'm going to copy my httpd.conf, httpd.conf. Too many of them. D D H T T P D dot conf original V I M H T T P D dot conf. Now, what do I need to add? Go to the very bottom. I might as well. That'll work. Yeah, my directory, and then what I want my directory to be protected. Var w h html okay there I've got my stanza format now and then allow override auth config is that right okay so what I'm doing, I'm saying, okay, if you if you're sent to the directory var www.html protected, then use these options. And the only option I got is allow override off config. What that's telling it to do is, if you are sent to that protected directory, look for that .ht access file. Okay. All right, quit, and just so I don't forget it, service. HTTPD restart. All right. CD var www.html protected. That's our protected directory. So now I need to create vim.ht access. ACCESS. That has to be in your protected folder. Protected directory. So that's what your HT access. Your HT access is just an information file, plain text. Okay, read me the options. The options are as well. Auth user file for the password file. This is the password file, right? All right. So the password file, I'm going to stick in var www dot ht passwd. Auth group file. I'd be lying if I told you exactly what that did mean, but it's something to do with groups which we're not using. So, 
off name Stevens funky little site what this is it just prints that somewhere in your login prompt require valid dash user and that's it okay let's look and just see the ones that we know about auth user file this is the important one this is telling you where do you go to find your list of users and hashes this is just a little flat file that's plain text it's sitting out there that you just have to tell it where to go and then a couple of other things that just kinda have to be there okay again in this file we've got the steven.html that was my protected file and I've got the .ht access which is just a text file with information about where to put stuff more ht access var www ht password okay I'm in var www now so I'm gonna say ht pass wd the first time you run it you have to do the dash c to create the file and I'm the, the file name is ht pass wd that's the just the flat file that's just a little database and finally I can say Wilbur which is my username give it the eternal password and we'll throw another one in there but now when we do it we don't want to recreate the file we'll throw Orville in there and there's password for that now one thing that that can screw you up and I'll look at it but it's it's usually right anymore it depends on where you put it HT password can be read by anyone and HTML protected the HT access can be read by anyone if the rights aren't right that can can throw a wrench into it okay we ready to try it let's see if my my errors look good let's kick out and I'm gonna close that just to make sure it didn't cache it anywhere 192.168.254.255.100 really simple web page protected Stevens funky little site Wilbur password okay that's one way of doing it we've not even looked at the back page of that lab now okay so that worked fine what the back page of the lab is is it's taking see right now I'm, I'm in protected right var www.html protected this is my protected directory this ht access file is just a plain text file so if anybody busted into this directory some way or another they could possibly edit it if they edited it it they could change the location of that password file and create their own so it's something out there they could monkey with so the last page of that lab what it does is it removes the .ht access from right there so all that information about what to pop up in the in the pop-up screen and where the um, protected thing is is gone so now I'm going to have to do a vim of etsy httpd conf httpd.conf and I'm going to go to the very end so now it's not allow override auth config anymore it's allow override none isn't it and then off user file is now in var www.ht it's dot ht pass wd group file this other one that's where we put the cute little Stevens next little 
funky site. I put it different just so that we can tell. No chickens in it. So that's basically the same as what we put in the .ht access, which is now missing, except allow override instead of off config, it says none. And it, that change is there just because we're putting it in the httpd.conf file. Rest of it look okay. Seems to. Good thing about it is I can be lazy and just restart it, and if there's any problems, it'll kick out errors. So what do I have to do now? You got to do a service httpd restart because you monkeyed with the file. Didn't kick back any errors. Um, it probably kicked something into here just to show that it restarted. That's where it restarted last time. That's where it restarted this time. Good enough. So now, let's close this again. Please. 192.168.255.100. Really simple web page. Steven's next little funky site. And since the password database didn't change, O R V I L L E B O R D. That's it. So that was your two different ways. So just one more time to go back and reiterate because every class winds up struggling with this for some reason. But what we've got, var www, let's, let's start back a directory ls-la to show me the files that start off with dot something. Well, there's nothing in the uh, HTML now because I put it in the configuration file. I've got my index file, which is the main page you hit. I've got a directory called protected. cd protected. There's nothing in there now except for my web page that was called from the index.html when you clicked on it, the uh, hypertext reference. Okay, in var www, there is my database file, .ht password. And we've done this before. We can do a cat of .ht password. Names, colon, hashes. Just real simple hashes. And the thing that we changed was at the end of, I'll just do a, I think I can do a tail and get away with it. Etsy, httpd, conf httpd.conf yep just this stanza right here this stanza has to point to the directory that you want to be protected so that when you enter this directory it applies these options and that's it easy breezy beautiful alrighty